Hello YouTube, this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music, and in this video we're going to enter in a sequence, a chord sequence into Orb Composer. The chord sequence we'll enter in is listed right here. Notice it's in the key of G. We have one sharp and we're in 3-4. So the reason we would do this is if we want to enter the melody and support the melody with a chord structure in Orb Composer. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we'll do is start up Orb Composer. And we'll start with the orchestral template. I'll apply that. Now, since we're in the key of G, I'll go ahead and set the global key to G. So that way, any blocks that are created, it's set to G major, click outside of that. And also, I'll set the global time signature to 3-4. Then we'll go to the block tab, and we'll pull in a melody, a theme. And then we'll go to the bar items tab, and we'll put in a an eight measure sequence of chords. Notice it automatically is filling in chords for us, but we will replace them with the chord sequence we have in Lullaby for Debbie. So we'll go ahead and start with a G major. Now it's very important that, okay, we'll go down to the chord progressions tab and notice there's another key signature or a key here. So we need to change that to the key we're in for the song, which is G. And then we'll go create new. We'll give it a name. We'll call it YouTube. Then we'll enter our first chord. So you click there. I'll type in G since our first chord is a G major nine. And there you have the G major 9 symbol. So we'll drag it over. The next chord is an E minor 9. So I'll type in E. Scroll down to the E minor 9, which is right there. Drag it over. Next chord, C major 7. So we type C. And then it's actually a C major 9. So there's your major seven. So there's your major nine right below that. And then the next one is a D7 sus4. So we type in D. Then we go down, look for the D7 sus4. So there it is. It's further down. Put that in, so we're halfway there. Then we want a B minor nine. So B, and then as we go through, maybe I went past it. Yeah, there it is. And then after the B minor 9, we're back to an E minor 9. So we type in E, scroll down to the minor 9, which is right there. And then after that, we have an F sharp, half diminished. So we'll type in F shift three for the sharp. And there's F sharp, half diminished right there. And then the last chords of B7, sus4. So we type in B. Then we search. It's always a good idea to go back to the beginning. And then scroll down until you get to the B. 7 sus, there's a sus2, there's a sus4, and then we can drag it over. And if you click on the chords, you will hear them and see them displayed, as you saw there. So go ahead and hit apply. And then if I click on native, then it'll just show the user chord progression. And one step you want to take as you go back to the key, type in G again, refresh it, enter, 
and then the chord progression will update to what you just typed in. So now we can just drag it. Actually, I didn't drag it far enough to the left. There we go. So there's our chord sequence. And if we compare it to what we have, see there's your G major nine, there's your E minor nine, your C major nine, your D seven sus four, your B minor nine, E minor nine, F sharp, diminished seven, and then B seven sus four. So at this point, we're ready to input the melody and then orchestrate it very quickly. Now, if we want, we can let or Composer, go ahead and do that for us. But it's always a good idea once you've reached a point to go ahead and save what you have. So I'll go ahead and save. And uh, I'll give it a name. I'll just store in the desktop for now. Just call it Input Chords. So now we've saved that result. And we could just go ahead and here are our magic buttons, creates instruments for all notes and blocks. So if we click on that. We see a piccolo, and if I scroll down, we see it's put in several other instruments. And so we could actually play a melody generated by Orb Composer based on this chord sequence. So let's hear what that sounds like. I usually like to go in and hear the solo, what the main instrument is. Here's the melody that got generated, I know, because there's the MEL. Also, it's an independent melody track. So we could solo that to get started. Bring in the viola. Double bass. So there you go. Just entered in uh, a nice chord sequence and Orb Composer automatically generated the melody and orchestrated it all in just a brief moment. So this is Bill McFadden. If you like this video, please click like. If you wish to subscribe, then please click on the subscribe button at the in just a few seconds. Also, there will be displayed a Hexachord Orb, com Orb Computer, Computer Playlist so that you can see the other videos that get into the details of Orb Composer. So this is Bill McFadden signing off.